Hello everyone. Reacher's finest partnership was about to happen in season 2, but it was wrecked by a heartbreaking death. The second season of Reacher, which is based on Lee Child's bad luck and trouble, opens with the main character learning of the deaths of his old teammates from the 110th Special Investigations Unit. In order to solve these murder riddles and bring the offenders to justice, Reacher teams up with Neakley, Dixon, and O'Donnell, the other members of his team who are still alive. Reacher's relationship with the key characters in Season 2 brings some freshness to the show and shows viewers a new side of the eponymous character, even if it doesn't necessarily replace his connection with Roscoe and Finlay in Season 1. It also creates space for the program to go into Reacher's military history. Even if Reacher's new alliance with Dixon, O'Donnell, and Neagley seems intriguing, his strongest alliance occurred in Season 2. Neagley, Dixon, and David are the new companions of the title character in Reacher Season 2, although Russo and the character make the strongest team. Reacher and Russo had a classic buddy-cop connection from the beginning of the season, with different approaches and personalities. Russo was never formally Reacher's partner, unlike his previous colleagues from the 110th Special Investigations Unit. But working together to investigate the murder cases of Reacher's old teammates brought them closer, resulting in laughter and even some tension that they had to learn how to work through. Reacher's connection with Russo was nearly exactly like his relationship with Finlay in the first few episodes of Season 1. Russo was a more traditional police investigator, much like Finlay, but Reacher persisted in using his unusual techniques in Cowboy ST in spite of Russo's warnings. Like many mismatched police colleagues in buddy cop movies, Reacher and Russo had a difficult and contentious beginning to their partnership. Eventually, however, they did manage to come to some understanding, and Reacher even showed enough faith in him to include him in their quest for Episode 6. They are the greatest duo in the second season of Reacher because to their relationship's slow development, but Russo's untimely death destroys it. Reacher says in Season 2 that he would have enlisted Finlay in the 110th Special Investigations Unit if the two had served in the same military. Reacher does not state as much about Russo directly, but Russo's sacrifice in Reacher Season 2, Episode 6, indicates that Reacher felt Finlay and him were both deserving of the same regard. Reacher and Russo would have formed a strong alliance, just as Reacher and Finlay eventually became a fantastic combination and even reunited in Season 2. Regretfully, the situation did not permit it. Russo and Reacher's rematch was often hinted to in Season 2, even after Reacher kicked Russo's vehicle and activated his airbag. Even in Reacher Season 2 Episode 5, when they encounter in the cemetery, Russo resolutely refuses to back down from Reacher and challenges him, threatening to give him the beating he deserves. Reacher responds, threatening to pick up the battle whenever he pleases. If so many people had not been watching, the two, who were at the end of their wits on the scene, probably would have faced off. It would have been intriguing to watch how a determined guy like Russo would have faced the supposedly unbeatable figure, even if Reacher probably would have prevailed in the fight. Given that the two would have attempted to win without really hurting one another, the battle would have been quite humorous as well. Unfortunately, the thrilling combat tease in Reacher Season 2 cannot be fulfilled due to Russo's passing. Reacher Season 2's depiction of Russo's demise departs greatly from the original story. Reacher Season 2 has to inexplicably up the stakes for the main characters in order to give its enemies a more menacing and serious appearance. So it takes this risk. Amazon's Reacher has increased the risk for the main character and his crew before the conclusion by emphasizing how a talented police investigator lost his life while trying to bring justice to the villains of Season 2. Because of this, Russo's passing appears essential for Reacher Season 2's main plot, even if it destroys the greatest character duo and even keeps the season from delivering on a fight tease.